Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Legend Grimrock 2. So, dug a couple of holes, and I'm just going to pretend they're not there. Now, see this statue? Uh, it's going to our inventory. So we picked up that rapier earlier. Not that. Here we go. If we give it to the statue... Yeah! Okay, I thought so. I think we're supposed to give those statues all of the rapiers. See, I thought the sword was actually contained in those... Hello. I, th I thought the sword was contained in the... Uh, I'm just going to hand that to him. I thought the sword was contained in the chest in the ground. Turns out, no, that's actually false. So there's at least a couple of these statues. Not one there. I think there's one back this direction, but it could be wrong. But essentially, we got a uh, nice little key for efforts. I think... I think I grabbed the rapier back. Nope, I left it on the statue. Well, that... Mm, <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Well, let's let's rush back. Grab that key. Now, the one thing is, I'm trying to remember if there's actually another statue that I've missed. I don't think so. Oh, hey. I just noticed something else that we missed along the way. Let's get over here. Turn. Move. Turn. There we go. Whoops. Uh, well, there we go. We'll give it to sm uh, Smuggles, because uh, more throwing knives. Good for good for everything. Holy crap! The sun, the sun for a grand total of five minutes per day, is sh uh, can shine straight through my window. Only five minutes per day, and right now I am completely blind. Luckily, this game does not require a whole lot of stressful action, so it makes my life a little bit easier. Let's give him the sword, and then take the sword back. I'll give it to Smuggles, and continue through. So, oh, apparently you can rest and stuff. Oh, I think I already knew that. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this is a little bit more like the Grimrock I know. Halls of the Dead, eh? Alright, here's the question. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna keep that key around for a second. And hopefully this torch doesn't... Uh, oh, that's a zombie. Uh, fireball him, and everything explodes. Okay, so it doesn't look like the... Jeez, Smuggles does damage. And everybody gains levels. Smuggles gains one strength. Okay, and we got more zombies coming at us. I'd love to retrieve some of these rocks. But I've got to gotta focus on everything. Because you take damage in this game. Surprising amounts, really. Okay, where'd that rock go? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we automatically pick it up. Because it is... Okay. Doesn't look like we can increase our... Our skills right now, which not the end of the world, but it's alright. Oh, interesting. At second level, you can perform melee attacks from the back row. Oh, that could actually really help. Chance of scoring a critical hit with melee range throwing firearm weapons through each point. Third level, you can backstab an enemy with a dagger and deal triple damage. Fifth level, you can backstab with any light weapon. Good to know. Okay, so magic is not useful. Throwing is tempting. Throw weapons with both hands. Oh, good to know. We still have yet to find any Firearms. Oh, hold on. This is a missile weapon. That's a throwing weapon. That's a throwing weapon. Okay, seeing as we're using the sling, I kind of goofed this one up, but I, I guess I'll give him missile. Kind of wish I could take that skill point back, but well, it's a little bit late for that now. Wizard can't level up. Next up, these guys. So, I'm tempted to actually give him... Okay, third level, you can dual wield light weapons, as long as one of them is a dagger. Uh, hmm. So the thing is, I'm tempted to actually... Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I know this is a little bit on the silly side of things, but I'm actually going to have the Lizardman Barbarian start going for light weapons, and he can just dual wield them and go for kind of evasion tanks stuff. I know... Uh, did I forget the sword back in the statue? I must have. Oh, well. And let's go with this, because eventually I'm going to probably get the Minotaur a shield. Okay, so let's quickly turn, rush back to the entrance. Oh, there's an alternate way up there. Please don't make me load. Okay. Where's that statue? Or did I already took the rapier back, didn't I? Well, that makes all of this a little bit on the silly side of things. So here's the quick question. 1 to 4 plus strength versus 2 to 6 plus strength. So, in the end, yeah, giving the lizard men the rapier is actually a good idea. And eventually he'll be able to dual wield the dagger 
and other stuff. What do we got in here? I don't know. Something's glittering there. Got a lot of glittering around here. Okay, so we get lockpicks. Fortunately, nobody... I, I have. I currently have nobody that can lockpick, but shouldn't be a problem either. We can have him the potion and scroll of shock. Let's look at that. Scroll of shock. So it's that one, but we need air magic. So his next level, I guess we'll go with that. And keep going through the dungeon. What do we got around here? The answer is nothing. Let's just keep going around. Curious what... What stuff is going to be in the Halls of the Dead? Was there something down this direction? Or, no, this is where I was fighting the undead earlier. Well, we get a box. Let's just give it to him. I'll loot it in a bit. I want to kind of clear this place out first and foremost. Now, we've got a pressure plate. Looks like the pressure plate locked the door. I'm gonna have to find an alternate way around. Doesn't look like I can go through anything there. Maybe we'll get some boots. Uh, I guess I'll switch things around a bit. I'll give Lizard Man that stuff, that stuff. Probably should feed the party. Because uh, the party's probably getting kind of hungry. Yeah, Lizard Man's getting a bit famished. Yeah, might as well top everybody off food wise. And we should be fine for food. I know the original Grimrock had some food issues. This one seems to be a little bit more on the forgiving side of things. Let's just keep piling armor onto the Minotaur, because his evasion is awful. But, might as well get his protection up, because, ideally, I'd like him to just tank damage constantly. Oh, it does kind of beg the interesting question of maybe in the future, should I... Huh. Let's check the map. Looks like there's not... Hmm... Not actually sure how to bypass that pressure plate. We might actually be stuck here, because... Unless we can figure out a way of disabling it. Because there's nothing we can interact with there. We can't... We can't throw anything on that one. We have one potential thing where we can... Drop a rock there. Nope. Okay, dropping rocks does nothing. And... I don't think there's any way to, like, leap over the pressure pad either. So unless we can figure out a way of disabling that, I think we're shit out of luck, at least for the time being. And... Oh, I see. And since we already had it pressed down by the rock, we should be fine. Okay. I almost missed that, uh... Almost missed that little bit. Would have been kind of unfortunate. Oh, we got some zombies. Well... Let's just use what we got until time comes. Okay. So, yeah, when we have the entire party actually doing their full attack string, we can do quite a lot of damage. Okay, we get an iron key. I'm going to give it to the wizard. He should be able to cast one-handed, I think. Can't imagine he didn't have many troubles with it. And is that actually it? We've got this mysterious door here, but... Oh, here we go. Okay, looks like we got a couple of zombies guarding a something on a dais. And what I'm actually going to do is... Can I press spacebar to pass my actions? Let the zombies come after me one by one. Nope. Okay, looks like I gotta pass time normally. Kinda wish the fireballs would cast faster. Oh well, apparently I get the Apprentice Wizard achievement. No idea specifically what that end up, ends up doing. Surprised he didn't die immediately. Luckily the zombies are pretty weak. So it's becoming kind of obvious that the Minotaur is going to need some accuracy stuff. So I'm probably going to give him weapon specialization as soon as I get the chance. There we go. There's all my rocks back. Doesn't look like we've got anything else here. What is this thing? It's a horn of summoning. Toss it in the Minotaur's inventory. See what it does. Horn has a pungent earthy spell. So what I'm actually going to do is give it to the Lizardman for the time being. Currently because he... Uh, doesn't really need to throw the dagger and can't do wield anyway. Actually, here's the question. Okay, yeah. Well, we got the Horn of Summoning. Oh, that that's to call the Guardians. So we actually did need to come down here. Go figure. Where are we? Oh, interesting. You can change the party formation. That makes sense. Looks like that stone door can actually open up. But that will be at a later date. Doesn't look like we got anything around there. Let me guess. Aha! This opens up 
the door to this direction. And here we go. We are back to where we were. And now we know exactly what to do. Or probably should. We got the horn. It means we can summon the guardians. Well, let's actually turn tail just for a second. Head over to that healing crystal. Save, just in case, because I get the feeling we're going to be fighting the guardians. And guardians could actually end up being a problem. So, let's heal everybody back up to full. Turn around. Save game. LP, EO, EO2. There we go. Prefer to have one save per Let's Play episode, just in case I make a mistake and have to go all the way back. Usually the mistake involves losing all of my footage. That is honestly the worst thing a Let's Player can generally run into. I'm glad I have yet to run into that problem. So, before we go in to fight the Guardians, there's one other place we haven't been yet that I would like to mess around with. So I'm actually going to give the lizard man the key. Okay. Hey, and it gives us a big old chest. What's in the chest? Potion of strength. Okay. I'm actually going to keep the torch on him. Pellets. Give it to him. And a backbiter. What's a backbiter do? Okay. Light weapons three. Vicious blade tainted by unholy rites. Fair amount of damage. Leech. But he needs higher in light weapons. But it's better than the rapier in terms of damage. So. Oh, but the, the rapier uh, scales based on strength. Uh, but his dexterity and strength are pretty much equal. Maybe I should have actually just had him be a thief. Oh well, a little bit too late for making large amounts of distinctions on all of that. Let's see, I guess it's time to summon the uh, Matterhorn. Not really, but but still. Okay, vipe, vipe, roots. Oh, hello! It's just stabby, stabby, fire, smashy. Okay, uh-oh, he's got multiple parts, so I think what we want to do... Oh! Jeez. Uh, well, note to self, A, no, stop opening those screens, so we are in serious problems. Okay, so if he fires anything at me, we run into problems. Where is he going to pop up? Oh, shoot, we're surrounded. Oh, this is, well, essentially now it is fight for our lifetime. And uh, there, there's no way out of this situation. We might die here. That that seems entirely possible. Freaking Guardian. Uh, <laughs> the one problem with the setup that we currently have is uh, our back is turned and we're taking stupid damage. You know what I should have done? I should have gone, uh, gone over and hung out near the chest. At the very least, we could have hidden the corner. So, <laughs> well, let's just... Wait. He's left the premises. Nope, never mind. He did not leave the premises. Okay, at least that one's over there. So... Uh, the entire party is about to go down. Oh, great. He's gonna shoot stuff at me. Well, he's dead. Let's use healing potions quickly. Use them. Okay, and... Wow, those actually make quite the dent in the health. Oh, surprise! <laughs> we're, we're not going to make this, but that's okay. We saved right before the boss fight, and we're going to learn a lesson. Don't expose your ass end to the freaking beasts of destruction. Okay, let's just wait for our... Ow. Let's just avoid that. Can I actually escape through here? Nope, the doors are locked while the boss fight is going on. Oh, hello. I... Uh, yeah... I guess the one problem with uh, hiding hiding in that one area is we would... Okay, actually, escape this direction. And keep stabbing this one, because maybe our lizard man might actually be able to persist just sheerly based on his dodgy nature and high damage. It's actually possible, but very unlikely. If we make this, though, we are uh, naming him High King of the Party. Okay, I'm not sure where the other one... Oh, okay, this is actually a good idea. I just hope we don't get surprised here. Anybody else have anything useful? Potion of strength. Let's use it. And potion of healing. Let's use it. Probably could have waited on that one. No, never mind. Didn't need to. Okay. Ah, we're surrounded again. Which puts us in a really shitty position. Wait, we took out, we took out one of the viper roots. He might make this. <laughs> wow. Freaking... 
Uh, let's close smuggles. No, I'm trying to close. Oh, I picked up the sword just for a second and started punching. That's bad. Okay. Close the inventory. Oh, there it is. Ow. Ow. Ooh, this is game over. Oh, we almost made it too. Which is crazy because we lost half the party almost immediately. <laughs> Whew. Surprise. Okay, let's try that again with 100% more success. So first and foremost, well, he pops up in semi-predictable places. Let's start with the fire, move over, and essentially just maneuver around. Oh, ow, that hits the entire party. Good to know. Also terrifying. Well, let's just do fireballs, rocks, and everything. Unfortunately, Snuggles is going to... Uh-oh. Snuggles is going to lose his health fairly quickly. Or, not his health, his ammo. Luckily, he does have a secondary weapon. And this does seem to be largely more effective. I was thinking about cornering myself, but honestly, the problem with cornering myself in any way, shape, or form is it does kind of invite the... Uh-oh. You want to do darts. Note to self, give Smuggles a melee weapon. Actually, that would be pointless anyway. Let's just give him the daggers. Well, we're making much more of a dent in the boss this time. Okay, there's one of the Viper Roots. And we missed that. Well, whatever. Let's pick up the extra ammo. I'm going to have to go back and figure out where all my darts went. There's somewhere. Fireballs, everything. Oh, and trying to punch. At, oh, shoot. The wizard's out of energy. That puts... That's puts him in a bit of a useful, useless position, but that's okay. Extreme, extreme gardening is complete. Let's get this, whatever it is. Power gem. Uh, it smuggles, you can carry it. And let's go figure out where all of my ammunition is. Looks like we got a lot of darts. Still have some rocks missing. Maybe they're over here? I feel like I've lost some rocks just across the board. Well, the, I think this is the last rock we're missing. Okay. Well, that's it. I don't see anything else around here, so let's head for the dungeon. The the something. Ooh, foresty thing. My guys are injured, though. Half of mine to actually go back. So you know what? Even though might have been a bit on the short side of things, I will still say this is a great ending point. As we're going into the forest, a new area and new uh, challenges await us. So I'll see you guys on the next episode of Legend of Grimrock 2, where we will go off, do things, and be adventurous. And victor victorious. Yeah. 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 Hope I don't die. That kind of hurts. See you guys then.